Hi guys, welcome back to Mirror's Community Town Hall. I'm glad to have you guys here with us today. So I'll just go ahead and, and start. So as usual, we'll be covering like the updates within our ecosystem, what has happened in the last couple of months, what will be happening next as well as the current status of where we are as of today. So, you know, we have been actively always finding the projects to work with, you know, some of them are friends or like people that we've met during like networking sessions uh, across the world, like Bobbox was someone that we met when we were in New York, uh, Hungry Hamster Club was someone they met during Meta Jam. So, do look out for new White Leaks collabs. I'm always happy to share other projects and support them. Um, if you guys have projects here, you know, and something that you want to work with, do reach out to us. And we are also working and actively expanding our Web2 and Web3 partners. So our recent new one will be Design Orchard, um, Singapore Tourism Board, National Singapore Museum, especially for our latest campaign of Fashion Connects uh, that happened, you know, just concluded, which I'll share more in details shortly. And these are some of the Web2 and Web3 partners. You may have seen some familiar brands here and you know, new brands that we have uh, that we are working with. Again, we don't necessarily just focus on Web3 because again, a large community members are still in the Web2 spaces. And you know, we, we are still trying to educate, uh, communicate and you know, really interact with them to see how we can grow uh, Mirror as a Fashion 5 Web3 project. So some of the new creatives that we have uh, recently on board as well in the last couple of months, uh, they are more on our uh, our website. Uh, do check it out because um, we are constantly updating it. Um, and these are some of the recaps that has happened in the last couple of months. So first up, we have Comex, um, which we were as a panelist alongside with SG and SG creators and Web Three SG, um, and we also have Singapore Fashion Week. So September was a little busy for us as well as we were preparing for our Singapore Fashion Week in terms of curating the designers, uh, the concept um, and again this was co-organized with the front row AP Media and Singapore Design Council. Uh, we also have a sharing session with um, NYP students Nanyang Polytechnic uh, alongside with HGNFT. Uh, really amazing, I mean they are really young kids right and these are a batch of students who have no idea what NFTs are and they're trying to get involved in it and we do see the enthusiasm, uh, enthusiasm from them so we're really excited to see how we can grow the education aspect you know in the web3 space so in collaboration with Singapore Design Council, AP Media, the front row we took over an exhibition space uh, at Raffles City, Singapore which is one of the shopping mall and we were excited because we get to work with the various uh, designers or NFT artists within the space. Uh, you can even see a design machine here. Um, yep, and these are some of the brands that we have featured, like Zhong Guo, uh, The Yang, Midnight Miners NFT Project, uh, Spy Ashta, Allegro, Allegro, as well as we, you know, we even got Minister Bayam Kim to, to grace our event. Um, some of the partners, you know, representative at Design Orchard, you know, guests playing the VR headsets, uh, which you can really see a virtual fashion show that is produced by Lucell. And in October as well, you were a guest speaker at Lucell, you know, a school that I was, I graduated from. Uh, we get to share what Mirror is, our whole ecosystem and onboarding the creatives out there. Uh, trying to inspire them to really, you know, if they want to create their own NFT projects, this is, uh, you know, this is something that they could take some insights from. And of course, this was organized by Tasty Toasty. Um, and we also had an event, uh, We Are Dreamers. So we did co-organize alongside with Dreamers, TTT and SGNFT creators which was powered by Element and Tokenized Exchange. So again, we were a panelist on one of the panels. And these are some of the creative, uh, very familiar faces that you've seen during Singapore Design Week. And we showcase them here as well. And so we also had our, our token, uh, token launch, which was rescheduled uh, to the 28th of October. 
and you know for us our team did acknowledge that the current market sentiment is not the most optimal for all cryptocurrencies however as a company with a long-term focus we really just cannot determine a launch date that is purely based on market condition it's an unfortunate that our launch coincides with the ftx collapse but you know on the bright side we are not directly affected by this black swan event so we're really thankful about that um, but on a macro level we might be expecting a, you know technical recession next year which will most likely cause a domino effect across our markets so realistically speaking external factor is something that you know we can't control or predict but you know as mira we do have the internal development is within our company's control so you know our team will really be focused on building through the bear market to focus on the untapped to the untapped market and you know the next couple of months more mirror token focused products will be released so do keep a lookout for it strategic partnership with other companies will also be in place to expand our you know existing 2000 overall token holders so we really can't wait to share more exciting updates with you guys so i do hope that you guys are still here and you know on this journey with us <laughs> um and also what happened in november which was just last month um we we headed over to nft london um you know we managed to speak with andy clue from Altava group louis lang from fidgeta twins it was pretty amazing um even though it's not of a big scale as nyc i would say but the people that we met there um they we really you know like we do see some synergy in terms of how the fashion in metaverse is really like so i'm glad that mira has an opportunity to be there and as well as in november you know we did work with uh, design orchard and mira and you know my fashion label joanna uh, we did a collab uh, and we also featured um, a, a collection within the space which is also on our e-store so we also feature uh, the Genesis collection um, for showcase purposes and we were there as well on one of the, if I'm not wrong, it was on the 12th or 11th of November, I can't remember, but we have our own colleagues over there explaining and, you know, sharing what Mirror was, uh, is about, um, what Mirror is about and, you know, presenting the new collection that we have there. Um, and then lastly we had our fashion connect uh, fashion runway so it's a catwalk with conscious uh, museum takeover at uh, national singapore museum so this was also supported by singapore tourism board and you know even though we weren't part of the rescue dog runway show this whole event fashion connects happened across two weeks um, so we were we were stoked you know to be able to conclude the fashion connect with a fashion runway um, alongside with our mirror ecosystem you know our partners have folio who did all the hairs for all the models so it's really amazing to see how you know we could uh, put together a show alongside with the front row and ap media so you probably seen Angad by esther um, during singapore design week um you know the young was also at singapore design week and we booked with you know other brands like one day we foray Fakaya studio serena lee who also won harper's bazaar new gen uh, competition this year and you know we we also wanted to take this opportunity to say that fashion connect is all about a conscious movement and it's an all-inclusive fashion runway so we, yes we do work with you know model agency but we also wanted this to be an all-inclusive model like plus size in terms of age uh, gender fluid model so it's really amazing to see uh, such a show that is being curated uh, by us as well as daniel boy um, yeah we just can't wait to see the next uh, fashion runway and we also managed to have Adrian Huang, which was a lecturer, which is a lecturer from LaSalle. Uh, we got him on a panel discussion alongside with our team to talk more about what fashion. And again, because it's a it's a it's a audience, a group of audience that are mainly not involved in the Web three space. So we did touch on like Web two and Web three and how what the future will really be like if you know the whole world, if the whole you know everybody's all involved in the metaverse space. And 
yes, we did manage to also have Melissa Gun to grace our event. So yes. <laughs> Um, so what's next for us? It's um, these are some of the progress that we have been working on. I do admit that Mirror Podcast we have been talking about this since June. Um, there has been delay, as you can see, in the last couple of months. We were focused a lot on like events and activations, and even though we are in the midst of like recording, uh, you know, pre-recording with our guest speakers, uh, we are still working on it. Um, rest assured that it will still be out. Um, our Genesis jacket, there was also some delay in terms of production. Uh, you know how Guangzhou was current was recently on lockdown as well. Um, some of the materials weren't shipped in time, so we are also working on that. So do keep a lookout of the new timeline, which will which will announce across our social media. And also, and since we have concluded Fashion Connects uh, Fashion Runway. Uh, we will be onboarding all these designers that were showcased on our e-store so we're still pending you know the curation process um the uploading which we will feature and we'll announce again on our social media and you guys since our mirror token has been launched uh, do keep a look out for our mirror voting page as well as where to earn and do keep a look out for our more events and activations in you know the following year 2023 so you know here at mirror we are constantly actively partnering with various companies and entities be it be web 2 or web 3 or you know be artists or companies or brands um so they do really uh i i do hope and very thankful again for you guys being here and being part of mirrors community and you know on this journey with us and we do want to continue this journey with you in 2023 and so these are some of the updates that we have of the roadmap you know our events our ig token launch uh, the events and what will really be happening is some of the events next year um like our our web tree village that was it is organized by invade Uh, you know if you guys heard about artbox uh, based in singapore it's a pretty large event and we do you know are looking forward to it um so yes, so 2023, 2024, 2025, these are some of the uh, general concept and you know direction that we're heading towards to what the future is really like for Mirror. Um, you know, we are a project that is just only going to last for one, two years and we do have move on. But really for us, we want to grow and we want to scale and expand. And at the end of the day, Mirror is meant to be a sustainable NFT project and not only after NFT launch, we are all actively working on various activation and you know projects and products for our community members. So yeah, that's that. Um, if you guys are creative or no creatives, do get them to sign up with us or check us out. Um, with that, I conclude today's community town hall and have a good day. Um, see you guys in our next town hall session. Thank you guys.